the dark days of 1940. England had its back to the wall most of the time, but Peter Rogers and Gerald Thomas found a little unit who had their backs to the wall all of the time. I could have sworn someone said bang. Oh, it was a lovely idea. Pardon, sir? Nickers! This is one of these new mixed batteries. So, that's what the brigadier meant when he said that this battery was an experiment. Experiment, sir. They does not need to experiment. They get at it right away. Always in the front line of fundraisers, the Carry On Gang have recruited a few new faces to join up with the regulars. Leading the law parade, Kenneth Connor. As from this moment, all ATS personnel. I'm going to make men of you. Followed by Windsor Davis as Sergeant Major Bloomer. I bet none of you can tell the difference between a couple of high ankles and a pair of bristles. Leading the love parade, Judy Jason. I don't think I can hold this pose much longer. And Patrick Moore. This is ridiculous. Twitching for some action, Jack Douglas. Joan Sims. How do you do? I find these things awfully exciting. I don't know why. Melvin Hayes. Peter Butterworth. And Peter Jones. You <laughs> Quite a nasty friction burn you got there. What have you been doing, eh? Asking about? The battle for Britain was on. Gun emplacement without a real gun. With respect, sir. Remember, there's a war on. And England was exposed. It's just as though those explosions are reverberating all through my body. Well, just as long as your helmet's not damaged. Those were times of great change. Oh, show them who's wearing the trousers around here. When men and women were doing their bit. And everybody was feeling the strain. <clears throat> Pain. Surely you learned me a bit of the other. This, that, all the others, so no matter what you call it, they is at it all the time. In and out of each other's quarters like fiddler's elbows. And so we say to you... Quick! Mark! Never in the field of carry-on comedies have there been so many laughs as in Carry On England. Ah!